Hey guys, welcome to another review. I promised a couple of reviews, so uh, I do apologize for the slow doing. Uh, I haven't been making as many videos as I lately. Kind of just because I've been busy with school and, uh, you know, stuff like that. But I was looking over my videos, and some of my views have like 200, 100. And I came across a video, one of my older videos, what I'm getting for Christmas. It has a thousand views. Those are the most views I've ever gotten in my life. Give me a second. So I really want to thank you guys by giving me all these views. And I haven't really gotten any subscriptions, but I really, you know, I don't mind. Um, so yeah, I do thank you for the you know, the views. Also, my friend gave me a little late Christmas present. Uh, I was working for this, well, I'm not going to get into that story because it's way too long of a story. But, uh, let me just get up with this review. My friend gave me Lego Universe because he bought it for $40, or I don't know what he bought it for, but he said he bought it, and he's all like, it sucks. He apparently didn't like it or whatever, and he just said, okay, you know what, I'm just going to give it to you. So he gave it to me, but he lost the, um, when I tried to install it and tried to make an account, it says uh, I have a register code. I looked all over Google for a register code, but I can't find one. So tomorrow I'm going to Target to get a new one. It's like a choice, because I have $35, and yeah, um... Enough of that. Let's get on to the actual. First thing we're gonna look at is the uh, the box, I guess. You know what? The box is a pretty standard Pharaoh's Quest box. Pharaoh's Quest are pretty much all over. They were released in early December, and since it's now mid January, you should be able to. Find. Well, not mid January, but it's like January 10th or something. So. To me, that's mid-January. Anyways, um, so yeah, you can pretty much find this set at Toys R Us. I saw it at um, Target today, and I saw it at Walmart. I no, they don't have a Walmart. Walmart has, like, nothing. There you go. Just, like, Harry Potter stuff. They have that at Toys R Us. Anyways, it is $22.99 US dollars. That's what I got that for that price anyway. It could have went up in price, could have went down in price. I don't really know. Pod, depending on popular demand. This is all uh, Ninja Ninja Go has. Well, I call it Ninja Go, but I think it's actually Ninja Go. Has also been released. Uh, I think they're doing a uh, a jungle theme, a Asian theme, and then a Egyptian theme. This is the Egyptian. Ninja Go should be the Asian, and I don't know if there's going to be a new. Well, that's because. Back then they had Orient Expedition, uh, and that one other one with Johnny Thunder and stuff. That's kind of, think, what I was, was going on. Anyways, let's move to the minifigures. This set came with three minifigures. And I brought down an extra minifigure for, uh, I guess it's not really a surprise, but just to show a cool resemblance. Uh, if you guys know about the Lego minifigures sub-theme, it is a theme that comes with these little things, packages, which I'm also going to show. I got really nice ones, like the Hula Girl, the Snowboarder, but I got some I wanted, but there were a couple that I wish I got instead. I actually got an extra one of these. He is the Explorer from Lego Series 3 minifigures. This is the guy that comes with the set. On the back, he has something called SMH. Don't know what that stands for, but that this is a really cool bomber jacket, and you could use this as just a roller torso and uh, exchange it for that. So, yeah. Then you have the Lego minifigures series 3 explorer which also has a great torso but not as good and it does not have a 
carving in the back because it was wearing a backpack. I use both of them to pilot the ship. He's also got a... He's older. So I use him as my guard base, but I, both of them can fly the plane. Yeah. On to these guys. When I was building these guys, I expected them to be a little different, but they are identical, except for the faces and depending what you do. And they come with these neat uh, pharaoh turban things, which came in little packages uh, along with the wings. At first when I saw the set, I had no idea how they were going to put the wings, but then again, I thought they were going to do a cape thing, and they did, and it fits perfectly because you can't really see the cape thing if you don't really look at it. You could see it, obviously, but if you don't look at it, you don't really th think. You kind of just they fly really cool. So they can be your birds, I guess. Lego birds. And this one has the face is exchangeable, so you could have one eye or two eyes. And Finally, let's move on to the set. Okay. This is the plane. It has working propeller with a... It is supposed to be an old-fashioned uh, tail dragger plane. It looks like a war plane. On the side, it has a sticker here that says Spirit of Lewis. It is... I'd like to say rip-off, but it's not really a rip-off. It's kind of like a cameo of the Spirit of St. Louis. The spirit of St. Louis is usually what they put on planes, and uh, I thought that was funny when they put spirit of Louis, which is actually what I thought that does it stand for, but it says SMH, not SOL, so, which is actually stands for the Sons of Liberty, which is a history thing, but yeah. It comes with these guns up here, and they were, I know I saw them in the boat chase on the Indiana Jones set. They also extend to having a little thing. So it has guns, but I don't tend to use them. Mostly because I use this as a fighting purpose. And it comes with this little thing here, which I don't use because I like to have the wheels in the back. That's just how I like my planes. And if you do put it like that, you can't move it because it get, gets in the way. For instance, if I had it like that, it won't be able to go in correctly. So, the wheels are like that, and I'll show you the play feature in a second. Uh, the main, I guess, thing is this weird pharaoh's tower, I guess you could say. It comes with a diamond, or what I think resembles a diamond comes with, uh, there's also this piece comes in the bank and money transfer. I just got done watching a review and they said it was a, a new piece. And I was like, no, that comes in this set. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty basic. It slides on the top and it is guarded so it does not fall off. The play feature is flying the plane over Dipping this thing in and trying to, that's not a good view. and trying to, oh, trying to just clip it on, and it is a bit hard to stay on and to fly away with it and dispose of it and move that up and go. Not the greatest play feature, but I guess you really can't complain, because in the thing, it just makes you seem like you have to do that and lay it on, which is uh, pretty cool. Again, I don't use the play feature, mostly because I'm using this plane as a regular transport plane. In the back, it only has a uh, three stud in the interior, a three stud thing, so like I said, both of the guys, since one has a backpack, if it was only a two stud, he probably wouldn't fit, but he fits like more or less perfectly inside. And then him. Uh, the also reason I didn't, I don't like doing reviews. I love doing reviews and, you know, getting views for them, but the thing is, is I have these set up in my room upstairs, so, uh, 
sometimes it's a bit annoying to gather because, for instance, the tower was in a totally different place than the plane and I had to gather all of it along with the box in order to get it. Um, one last thing, I'll do the instructions because that's pretty much the set there. It's the tower and then you have these like little palm trees that you saw in well, I see in the previous sets. Um, another thing is I'm probably not going to upload this right away. Because uh, today is Saturday. The, I don't know how to figure out. It is the ninth. Yeah, it's still early. <laughs> um, it's like one o'clock here. About almost to be two o'clock. I think I'm gonna watch Cowbells on Disney Channel, which is like their three o'clock movie. Let me skip to the back of the Lego thing in the bomb. Right here. I'm gonna show you all the other sets. The big Mayan temple set. Or it, it looks like a Mayan temple until it like, gets the thing, and then it's a, I guess, that. This comes with the motorcycle right here, and I think that motorcycle is pretty cool. It comes with that. And then here it comes with the Battle Scarab. This is like the 599 set in this something. And come over here, it is the Pharaoh set. Over here, it is the set that we just reviewed, and the set is the battle with the snakes. <laughs> um, <laughs> what I would do is I would take the pyramid set, slash Martin Temple, and the Sphinx set, and uh, I'd make a little Egypt because those are two main parts you would need for an Egypt: the Sphinx and the pyramid. So you can make a Lego Egypt and have your little people fly to it on Lego Airlines with the new Lego City Airport. Anyways, yeah, so I'm kind of ticked off about not being able to register for Lego Universe. I'm so mad. So we're going to have to go to Target and get a thing. I'm tired since it's 1 o'clock, but, uh, you know, thanks for watching. Subscribe and stuff, and keep watching my other videos. You know, if you're just watching this, um, I do have lots of other videos. I have another series that is called Tips and Tricks Making Habbo Houses. If you've ever played Habbo or Habbo Retro, you will like that, and I give you tips and tricks on how to make those. We don't have many views, like one has three views, one has six views, and they are quite long, so yeah. And then I have my what I'm getting for Christmas, which shows all the sets, so be ready for other reviews. And I have the Lego Prisoner Transport for 2011 review as well. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, rate, comment. Thanks. And, uh, yeah.